Hey guys, Hamstable here with a new video, and this week I was supposed to bring you guys my full-fledged review of Vanilla Plus, but my PC unfortunately had other plans. Right before the raid to Molten Core, the entire PC crashed and restarted. Once I logged back in, my second monitor wasn't working, and after restarting Vanilla Plus, it ran at like 5 frames per second. Another restart did little to resolve the problem, a quick GPU driver reinstall also didn't do anything, a memory test showed zero errors in my RAM, and even a quick clean of all the contact points of my RAM and GPU did nothing as well. So first I thought my GPU was dying, which would have been one expensive repair. But then my PC also started to spit out external devices like my Wi-Fi adapter, and I know a faulty GPU has little to do with that. So, considering how multiple devices connected to my motherboard were just failing over and over again, I thought of the motherboard as the culprit. Now, I wasn't 100% sure, but it was my best bet so far, and it was a relatively cheap fix compared to swapping out a GPU for instance. So, it was time for a motherboard transplant. This was quite a hassle, as almost everything had to be disassembled, apart from the power supply and all the cables. So I decided to just disconnect the motherboard with all of the peripherals apart from the GPU still attached to it. And then once it was removed from the case, I removed the RAM and went on to take off the CPU cooler. After that was gone, it was time to clean the CPU with some isopropyl alcohol. And there we go, one faulty motherboard. At least, that's what I hope. Now that everything's disconnected, I can also properly clean the parts, including the CPU cooler, which was just covered in dust. Then it was time for the new motherboard, an ASUS Tough Gaming, which by the way, what a cringy name, but it was a really good pick for my Ryzen 7 3700X CPU. So on we went to install the CPU cooler brackets once again. Followed by putting the CPU back in place. Then it was time to put the RAM back in, which is super easy to do. Next up, I put my 1TB M.2 SSD onto the new motherboard. And I know that I'm using the second M.2 slot instead of the first one, but it doesn't matter as long as the computer knows to use that slot with that M.2 SSD to boot up the PC. Then it was time for a little test fit with the CPU cooler. Once I was happy, it was time for a bit of thermal paste and then I fastened the CPU cooler. Now, while doing this, I also used these very handy little plastic boxes that my girlfriend once bought. When she bought them, I told her that she didn't need to buy those and it's just a waste of money. Right up until I realized they're super handy for storing PC parts during this motherboard swap. So yeah, she's right and I'm wrong once again. <laughs> anyway, now it was time to put the motherboard into the PC. followed by the GPU. And of course, off screen, I gave everything one last check and now we pray. All right, so at least it boots up, that's good. And a quick check into the BIOS and all scenes in order. But can it once again run games smoothly without problems? Well, yes it can. Looks like in this case the motherboard was indeed the problem. 
Whether it will randomly crash again though is not sure and the only way to find out is to keep using the PC until it has shown it's reliable once again. Thanks for watching and I hope to bring you some more private server videos in the near future. For now, I'm Hamsterwheel and have a good one.